Hello, welcome to St John's Church for our Ash Wednesday worship. Now inside the church building of St John's, you'll see lots of signs and symbols. And the sign or symbol that you'll see the most of is the cross. And that's what we're going to think about in our worship today. Here are just a few examples of the crosses that can be seen inside St. John's Church. Now, one of the places where we'll see the sign or symbol of a cross is here on the font at St. John's Church. And we use this font when it's time for a baptism or a christening. Often a baby will be brought to church with mum, dad, with godparents. We'll have a christening or a baptism. And I will pour water on the head of the baby. What I'll also do with the water is put the sign of the cross on their forehead. There's a sign or a symbol that that baby belongs to Jesus and wants to follow Jesus through the whole of their lives. Now the cross is such an important symbol in the Christian faith. It reminds us of the cross on which Jesus died. That Jesus, when he was crucified, was dying for all the wrong things that we've done in life. For all the things that we've done or thought or said. For the way in which we've messed up and made bad choices. And on the cross, Jesus died to sort out all those mistakes. And to put us right with God. That's why we use the cross as a symbol in baptism. It's a reminder of our desire to know God's forgiveness and to follow Jesus. It's also why we use the symbol of the cross at Ash Wednesday. As we prepare for our Ash Wednesday service, we take all the palm crosses that were given out last year on Palm Sunday. We gather them in and we burn them. That's a bit of a strange thing. But what we do is we collect all the ash from those burnt crosses and we use them in a very special way in the service. Now when we're baptised, the sign of the cross is made on our foreheads as a sign that we want to follow Jesus. And Ash Wednesday, we do something similar. We take the ash from the burnt palm crosses and we make the sign of the cross on our foreheads so everybody who comes to the service has a cross put on their forehead but unlike the cross that's marked on our foreheads with water at baptism this is a dirty cross and it's a sign that actually, although we want to follow Jesus, we make mistakes and we get things wrong. Now, in the Bible, particularly in the Old Testament, people used ash as a sign that they were sorry and they wanted to say sorry to God and ask for forgiveness. In the Bible, in the book of Job, chapter 42 and verse 6, it speaks about seeking forgiveness, saying sorry to God. And it says, I repented in dust and ashes. And that's why ash is such an important symbol of saying sorry to God. And that's why on Ash Wednesday, we mark a cross on our foreheads a dirty cross as a sign that we're sorry 
that we want to repent and ask for God's forgiveness. Ash Wednesday is a really important day. It marks the beginning of a season called Lent, where we particularly try and get closer to God, spend more time praying, reading the Bible, and helping other people. It's also a time where we remember that we make lots of mistakes and that we need God's forgiveness so that when, at the end of Lent, we come to the celebration of Easter, not just Jesus' death on the cross, but the fact that he rose again from the grave, that his tomb was empty, and that Jesus has won a victory over sin and death and evil. So as we think about the sign or symbol of the cross, why don't you think about how closely you want to follow Jesus? Let's say a prayer together now. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us and that through your cross we can be forgiven. We're sorry when we make mistakes when we do or say or think wrong things. Thank you that through your cross, we can be forgiven and make a new start. Amen.